Hi, my name is Adam Kaokep, and I am taking a leap. I am leaving the U.S. for Thailand. Why? For a lot of reasons, but to really understand, let me tell you my story. Back in January of 2020, I moved to Los Angeles to do a play. Now, I've been an actor for most of my life. It's been quite a ride. Is there any specialties in the kitchen? Uh, the crispy pork with Chinese broccoli is probably our most popular dish. It's fantastic. And in March of 2020, the pandemic hit and everything came to a screeching halt. Did one show, one show tonight, and it was, it was magical. It was amazing. And you know what? I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for these people. I'm grateful to be a part of this community now. I found myself here in LA no place to go. I ended up staying here in this amazing space and uh, I waited. Alright. And after a while, I decided that I wanted to do something with my time. So, over the summer of 2020, I got together with my mom and learned how to cook. How to cut a chicken. Okay, fresh. Today is uh, uh, Thai cooking lesson day number two. My mom had this amazing restaurant called Thai Barbecue. It was the product of her brother, my uncle, who opened up the first restaurant here in Los Angeles, California. My mom went on to open her locations in Las Vegas, but with life, a lot of stuff happened and she had to close the restaurants. <laughs> This is a video of uh, what it looks inside. We just opened the front door. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty bad. My mom never wrote down any of her recipes, so I decided to learn how to cook my mom's food. The food that she used to make at this amazing restaurant that we used to have. Every Wednesday, I would get together with my mom and learn four or five of her recipes from the menu. And then on Saturdays, I would go live on Instagram and teach one of her recipes. In the end, I ended up learning about 50 recipes. It was an amazing experience to document my mom's passion, my mom's work that she's been doing ever since I was a kid. I got to know my mom in a way that I never had before. And in that time period, I kind of fell in love with cooking. <laughs> Here we are in the pandemic, nothing to do, theater wasn't happening, so why don't I go around the U.S. and cook with the people I love? Chicago, Boston, Key West, New York City, Dallas, the Grand Canyon, Oklahoma City, Kansas City. I went to so many places over those three months and ended up cooking with all the people I love as well as a lot of locals who ended up sharing their recipes with me and telling me their stories and all at a time when we were all at a standstill. So after that road trip, I was very inspired to cook and I decided that since nothing else was happening in my life, I was gonna go to Thailand. And I moved to Thailand and went to culinary school. I was having an incredible time being back in Thailand, getting to know the culture, connecting with my family, my mother was there, my extended family was there, and I ended up making a lot of really great friends. I had decided that I was gonna stay. Why not? But then, life happens. And life did call me back to the US, and I came back in 2021. The play that I was doing when the pandemic started decided that it was gonna reopen. I started rehearsals for the play again, and the show turned out to be pretty successful. Ultimately, 
getting a lot of support and encouragement to stay in Los Angeles and continue my acting career. But I kept finding myself resisting everything. I would get annoyed when I got a self-tape audition. I felt uninspired and tired, not wanting to do the one thing I had been working on my whole life, but also feeling like I had no other options. I just felt different. And then I went to Burning Man and that changed the game. experiment, understanding how, like, how I wanted to live my life. I needed to go back to Thailand and see what happens. I'm going to see what happens if I pursue my love for travel, food, adventure, and people. I want to learn more about my heritage, a culture that is full of history, beautiful places, and unique traditions, and be a bridge to that incredible world. And I want to bring people together for fun, for thrills, for deeper connection. What is possible if you leave your comfort zone and take a chance? The biggest risk in life is the one you never take. Settling for less out of fear. What if I fail? What if my friends judge me? What if I look ridiculous? But ask yourself this. What if I never take that leap? Your life can change the moment you make the choice to change it. You always have the choice. Leap and the net will appear. I'm taking that leap. Follow me. Peace. Until the next time.